The biggest mistake I see people do in technical Minecraft is actually using redstone. Despite it being the thing that the whole building of machines in Minecraft is called after, redstone is actually pretty bad. So, what's even the alternative? I think those of you who are watching your screen already realize it's rails, either power rails or regular uh, activator rails. It depends on which update you are playing and what is easier for you to get, either iron or gold. So let's go over it. Both of them work the same way, right? They transport the signal instantly. So what's the other difference? Well, the reason why redstone is typically not used in a lot of machines is because you want to make machines one white island. So you want this part there to not be triggered. I can show you this one. Where else? So with rails you can do this. You can see only one of them activates. The redstone this doesn't work. And it doesn't matter if I would power this directly, the result will be still the same. There's also the problem if we put a piston below this. And see it's still being activated. And this is even placing the redstone on transparent blocks. So that's typically why you don't use this. But there is also another reason, which many people don't realize for some weird reason, even though it has been known for years, which you probably have noticed from this machine. We are going to test how laggy they are in comparison. So let me turn on the HUD and let's run the first setup, which is nine rails in a 10 by 10 matrix. So this is 900 rails. Let's run Think Health. Thirteen. So this a couple times. Twelve. Twelve. I have generally found it to be around twelve, plus minus eleven to thirteen, usually. And now let's do the same thing with the redstone. As you can see, this is the same length. 10 by 10 matrix. Twenty-one. That's a lot more. <laughs> that's a lot. More. That's far beyond the measurement error in this case, which is like one two milliseconds per tick. is significantly worse. So yeah, normally I would end this vi the video here if I would be disingenuous and not wanting to show you something. Most people typically don't go beyond this point, but I wanted to also show you how to use redstone in a manner that is not terrible for your server. Because what we are measuring here is server lag. That's not FPS, on your computer, that's how much it likes the game for everyone on the server. So this machine would 
already take up two fifths, so 40% of the performance of this entire server, which is, by the way, on the version 1.20.2 vanilla, which is the prototype next gen CMP server, which a lot of the technical community has access to. So, anyone feel free to verify this. I would gladly be proven wrong. You who have already some experience might realize what I'm about to do. Now, we are powering these redstone lines with a single strength of 40. That means it's still transporting the information, it's just doing much less changing of the power level, the signal strength. You can see this is still working. If you look really closely, maybe this will be visible on YouTube, maybe not. I can definitely see this color change when in the F3 menu. You can see power flicker from 6 to 7. Now let's try it. Eleven point five. Eleven point five six three. So yeah, with this method, you can actually even have less lag with redstone dust than with rails. Of course, you have even more disadvantages, because now this is constantly powered, so you literally have to use observers every single time. And this is incredibly difficult to fit into things. But paradoxically, it's a little easier to use it this way in some machines. Because if we now activate this, uh, I should have done it like this. When we now activate this, you can see only this line activated. So this is what I have been using for quite a while in a lot of my builds. For some reason, of course, the People in the storage tech archive and other places got really mad at it. Let's compare the rails again, just for fun. Eleven point eight. I'm not hundred percent sure if it's actually less, but it seems to be more often to be less with the and stone them with the rails, which is quite surprising. I, from what I was told, this shouldn't be the case. Maybe that wasn't was a little too fast. Yeah, you, you can see this is pretty consistently less. So yeah, rails way better than normal redstone. So basically if you ever see some kind of computer or anything using redstone that is not pre-powered to the maximum possible signal strength, then you, you can be certain that the thing is basically a lag machine rather than useful for anything, unless it's really small. And of course rails have a lot of other advantages. As I showed in my previous video, where I compared the rails to other blocks, they are worse than doing something like this, for example. And putting something funny like the dragon heads in between them.
because this also transports signal, just likes a lot less. However, the difference is these rails don't, and same with redstone, don't add a delay, which is more often than not absolutely necessary. And you can, of course, make instant wires with rails much easier than with redstone, because with redstone it requires pistons, which, as we established, are even more laggy. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Please like, share, subscribe, whatever, and tell people about this, because they will likely try to either convince you that it doesn't matter which you use, or that, for example, redstone is always worse, or for some nonsense, like, you should always use redstone because you can do more things with it, and so on. And, and goodbye.